A number of years, the Negro passengers on the city bus lines of Montgomery have been humiliated, intimidated, and faced threats on this bus line. Researchers gather all available data and separate credible sources from misinformation, and we present our evidence unbiasedly to the public. This story of Rosa Parks intrigued us, so we investigated its credibility because we were familiar with what we were told about it. However, we realized that a lot of information deemed as fact is simply not true. A lot of truth has been hidden for various reasons. We also discovered why it was important for certain people to present the Rosa Parks story in a particular way, rather than how it actually happened. For example, the picture you see of Rosa Parks being fingerprinted by an officer was taken several months after she was arrested and bailed out of jail. Your folks, that's what they would say to some of the leaders, uh, started this, are they willing to do it and they're not complaining, so why would you be protesting against something that the people who are actually experiencing this tradition or custom make no complaints? All of this was a test to see how the public will react by way of the press. It gets deeper. We're willing to accept death, but we're going to keep coming until we can ride from anywhere in the South, any place else in the South, without anybody making any comments, just as American citizens. It's unfortunate that people didn't realize what was happening during that time in Alabama and everywhere else. For someone who didn't have any kids, why did they choose Rosa Parks as the mother of the civil rights movement? We answered this and more related questions in this detailed documentary to finally put an end to all of the lies we were told.